Thoughts on Aguero? Is he deserves to keep after Burnley game? Look, if Aguero goes and scores loads against Burnley, we're all going to stop talking about is Aguero worth it. The fact of the matter is you've got to make a decision with Aguero and Kane and you, and even Salah and you've got to decide and look around and go, is there strikers that are more likely or are likely to score as many goals as Aguero and Kane? Same thing you have to do with Mohamed Salah. You have to look at them and I think your daughter was hungry for FPL knowledge. Um, you've got to look at them and think, is anyone going to score more than Asala? And it doesn't even have to be more. It just has to be close enough that value for money-wise, you could use that money elsewhere to really upgrade a player that will score a lot more than the player you currently have. So if we look at forwards after eight game weeks, total goals, Aguero and Kane are top, but Mitrovic and Murray are also there with five. So we do have two strikers that have scored as many goals as Kane and Aguero that are pretty much half the price. But when you go to attempts, Aguero is above everyone else for attempts on goal. But Mitrovic is only four goals behind him, uh, four attempts on goal behind him, 38 to 34. And then Kane is actually eight goal attempts on goal behind Mitrovic. And then Murray, who is the other person to score five, actually has only had 13 attempts on goal. So Mitrovic is putting in a case that potentially he could score as many as the likes of Kane and Aguero if he continues scoring lots of goals in the games he can score lots of goals in. The other one at the moment that suggests to me that potentially he could do something is Lacazette. Now, minutes-wise, he's played less minutes than Kane, a lot less minutes than Kane. Uh, he has four goals, only one less. 19 attempts on goal. Aguero has played a little bit more than Lacazette, but not lots more. But if Lacazette had played the extra 50-odd minutes, I'd maybe put him at about 24 attempts on goal, which is only two less than Kane. As far as shots from inside the box, again, Aguero is top. This is a reason why a lot of people like Aguero and stick with Aguero, because there's always the chance of him absolutely exploding in a game. But again, Mitrovic, 23 attempts from inside the box, as many as Kane. Uh, you've got Lacazette with 19. Wilson on 20. Sorry, Lacazette isn't on 19, he's on 13. Vardy's on 16. So, we then go to big chances in total. And Wilson's actually still had the most. He's had 10 big chances on goal. Kane has had 8. Mitrovic has had 7. Aguero drops off big time in big chances total with four. And then as far as shots on target, Kane has actually had the most shots on target with 13, tied with Mitrovic. Aguero with 11. So if we then go to expected goals, because right now Mitrovic is really looking, underlying stats-wise and goals actually scored, like he is as or on par at the moment to do as well as Kane and Aguero. Don't get me wrong, at the end of the season, I'm not saying Mitrovic will have as many goals as Kane and Aguero. Although if I did say that and was right, I'd look like a genius. But I don't think that's going to happen. But with the massive disparity in price, Mitrovic could be better value to have in your side than Kane or Aguero. Because then you could have Hazard, De Bruyne, Sterling. You could absolutely beef up your midfield. Or... You could have Lacazette, Vardy and Mitrovic and together they may score you more points than having Kane and two cheaper strikers. So expected goals. You've got Kane top at 4.88, Aguero at 4.28 and Mitrovic at 3.94. So the expected stats expect Kane to, over the season, score more goals. But as far as how they're performing against their expected goals, Mitrovic is outperforming his expected goals. Uh, he's plus 1.06. That is better than Aguero at plus 0 0.72. And now I've got a fine Kane is only 0 0.12 plus over his expected goals. So for me, Mitrovic is either on the best form of his life and it could disappear. He's on a lucky streak, a lucky run. Or in that Fulham side, the way it is set up, the attacking football they play, and the fact that he's comfortable there, he knows what's expected of him. Mitrovic could be great value for money. And you have to remember that Mitrovic, if we go to his 
Go to the games played. He's played Tottenham. He's played Man City. He's played Arsenal. Everton, Watford, you could potentially say are teams that they wouldn't have been expected to do much against as well. So you've got Palace, Burnley and Brighton, Hove Albion as ones where you're like, OK, this is where you expect him to score goals. He got a goal against Tottenham. Got a goal against Watford. And then he has had two blanks, Everton and Arsenal. But I think underlying stats-wise, Mitrovic could be a little bit of gold when his next fixtures are Cardiff, Bournemouth and Huddersfield. I mean, Brighton, Hove Albion, he got 16 points. So I really like the look of Mitrovic. Mitrovic.